Hello lovely human beings. It's Loretta with Sparrow Hawker Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so I have finished my slow stitch keepsake book. Um, you guys have seen the cover already because I was um, demonstrating how to do this uh, wax technique on the picture transfer. Um, there's a video up on how to do that. And so you guys have already seen the cover, but I just thought I would show you anyway, show you the whole thing. Um, so I decided to make this um, a keepsake holder. So uh, let's see, I don't think this is a pocket. Yeah, I didn't make the front one a pocket because I didn't want it to, if you put something in it, I didn't want it to mess up the cover. So this one is a pocket. There you go. And there, it's a two pocket. There's one up here and there's one here. Um, let's see. So all the images in here are mine and I did the transfer, the gesso transfer technique with the, and then did um, the wax on them. Uh, so just some old vintage, vintage laces, um, a, a heart from a cutter quilt, um, some eyelash trim, and then on this page, this is actually a block from one of my grandma's quilts. Um, there was about a fourth of the quilt that was just threadbare and the batting was coming out, so I decided I would cut it up, and I also, um, made myself a needle book out of one of them, out of one of the blocks. Uh, there's a whole stack of them in my closet. <laughs> I gotta find other things to do with them. Um, this came from Sarah at um, Roxy Creations by Sarah in our swap that we did last year, or gosh, two years ago. I can't remember now how long it's been. Uh, this is um, a really old piece of lace from like the 1920s, maybe even earlier. Yeah, I, actually it's probably earlier, but anyway. Um, and then this page is a pocket right here at the top. This is not vintage. This is fairly new. I just tea dyed it to look old. This is vintage tatting. I did some stitching up here. This is a, a piece of a duvet cover. <laughs> um, I'll, more tatting here. Um, this the little butterflies is part of the um, uh, selvage edge on fabric, and this was too. It says Bon Voyage. That was on um, part of the selvage as well. And then over here is um, another pocket. This was a, a, a vintage scarf from, I don't know, the 50s, something like that. And then I took uh, a piece of fabric that had these butterflies printed on it and I cut them, I fussy cut them out and then I did some stitching, some embroidery on them. Uh, and then just a little floweret and a piece of a doily. And so this is stitched down because like obviously if you unfolded it, you know, um, it'd be one big piece. So I stitched this completely together and then put it on here. And then, um, let's see. It says, we do not remember days, we remember moments. And yeah, this is just a bunch of my old trims and stuff. This actually came from uh, my daughter's stepmother's great aunt. <laughs> uh, and then, just some stitching all in here and yeah, this one is a little pocket so uh, this one is not a pocket yeah I didn't I did the same thing on the back cover that I did on the front because I didn't want to like if you put something in there that was really bulky I didn't want it to kind of mess up the covers so um, anyway I just put this so this um, was a big piece. I, it had several of these um, 
baskets on it. Uh, I, I don't know what, I guess it was like a tablecloth or something. And technically it's really too long for the book, but I didn't want to cut up. I didn't want to, uh, I don't know if you can see that. I didn't want to cut off that scallop because I just liked it too much. So I just put the whole thing in there like that, even though it's technically a little too long because the page ends like right here. But with all of the trims and stuff, you can't, you can't tell. It just looks like it's part of the trim. So this was already uh, pre-embroidered. Um, and then I did a borrow stitch on it to just kind of secure it down. And then the back is all slow stitched. So I will hold it up for you. So I know some of us struggle with making things that have no purpose. <laughs> Um, we need to get over that, but I get it. <laughs> I definitely get it. Uh, so that's the main reason why I made pockets in here was so that it did have a purpose. So you can, um, you can keep, uh, little love letters, special cards, tickets to concerts that, you know, you went on a first date or something. Uh, a lock of your baby's hair or your husband's or wife's or parents um, yeah, you could keep all kinds of things you could even keep just small little mini journals if you wanted um, And so I had originally, I was making this for myself. <laughs> originally, that's kind of what the thought was, is that I would make it for myself. And I have, a, an, I have my name embroidered from uh, Jeanette at My Cottage Crafts in our last swap that we did. And I was going to incorporate it somewhere. And then halfway through the book, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep it or not. I might sell it. So I didn't want to put my name in it if I was going to sell it which I think is like really funny. But I have, you know, a ton of stuff in my house already that I've made. Um, so I think I'm probably gonna sell it. I can't decide. I will decide by the time I put it up in on, by the time I put this video up, I will have decided. <laughs> uh, that doesn't make much sense, does it? And there you go. So I love it. I absolutely love it. It's 95% um, of this is all stitched. There is some gluing um, of um, I think I glued like in like the pocket part in here maybe. And I think I did the same thing here. I think this is, yeah, because I didn't want the stitching to show. So I actually glued this down um, with Aileen's tacky glue. I did not use a hot glue gun. Uh, everything else is stitched on and slow stitched. Uh, but anyway, I thought it was a pretty good idea, a pretty good way to show you how to incorporate old vintage linens. Um, Obviously, we all know how to, you know, use our vintage laces, but some people struggle with the vintage linens. So I thought this was a good way to show you how to incorporate those. And also, um, I know a lot of people have this idea that slow stitching has to be done with vintage fabrics only. And this book is a mixture of the two. Um, all of these are new fabrics. This one and this one is vintage um same thing throughout here you know throughout this is vintage um so it's this but this is not and this is not this is not either i just tea dyed it so it looks like it is <laughs> um this is all new in here um it's also not all cotton. This is a linen. And so, you know, you don't have to do just vintage cotton. Um, you can 
just use whatever you have. So just switch it up and use whatever you have. So uh, as you can tell, once you mix them in with the vintage fabrics, you can't tell that they're not vintage. So, and especially if you wash them a couple times and dunk them in some tea and <laughs> all that kind of good stuff, then it really will. But I like the way it feels and um, yeah, so I really like it. Anyway, I hope you all are having a great day. This week in the U.S. is Thanksgiving. So tomorrow will be, I will spend the day tomorrow baking. And Wednesday I will spend the day cleaning my house. <laughs> and then Thursday we will cook all day and eat. <laughs> and then Friday we will try to recover. So um, that's how holidays go in my house. It's like a four-day affair, right? So... Anyway, I hope everybody's having a great day. If you do celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you have a wonderful one. And um, I will uh, see you again real soon with a new project. So I will talk to you later. Bye.